So, how many of you guys use the literature as it is today? No. You use that? You guys use that? We based it on something. Yeah. Because, listen, you know, your literature looks like an engineer wrote Yeah. And it's not, it talked more about features, not benefits. So, all I did is I took the features you guys said. Okay, what benefit does it weigh? It was much easier for me. You guys had everything paragraphical. Right. We went to bullet points. You know, I was as to what it means right. for the customer. Okay. And bullet points are much better. Yeah. Just much quick better. snippets mm -hmm. so that the technicians can read that and understand it and hand it to the customer and talk them through. It's something that we felt comfortable enough to stick in our mailers to the customer. The customer's not going to say this is like a novel. Should, should it be like a little trifold with bullet points? Is that, is that, is that kind of direction? And I'm sure it Something that we can be put in with the bills, yeah. Or the renewals. Well, uh, Billy gave me one of yours. It was a trifold. It was full color. Very nice. I mean, glossy paper. Yes, green. That's what we're doing. Every home we go in, we're sort of giving one of those. Little trifold. Yeah. Okay, what, do you, what do you do? Do you do trifold or use the literature or no, nothing? No, I got I got I got I made my own big part. Okay. I kind of copied yours, but I changed it. Some yeah. Of it. What did you do? Is take the best practice. Apparently, I did a great job because you guys all uh, loved it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, it's, it was it's easy to follow, but just change some of things like the benefit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Benefits. You know, I took some of those and took them to the printer. Okay. And uh, I just had my guys leave in the house. Or, I just started a new program where I took a uh, big vanilla, vanilla envelope. I took that, two other brochures, stuffed it, stamped it, urgent, wrote there's a fifth gift in there to you, and you know, sent them to the homeowners association. Right? And feel the package because I actually took a, uh, for a home show, I said, I had uh, bandage dispensers. I threw that in there so it's not a flat envelope. There's a, there's a, oh, there is something. Yeah, there's something of value in that with a little cover letter. Real short, real simple. They didn't try to sell it. Mm -hmm. I just take a look at this and you're interested in your interest, call. I just started this book. Uh, I'm, I'm mailing like 25 a week out. And then I'll start a week later to do a follow up letter. But I'll just keep rolling like that. But I don't have any results on this. I just started it. For, for brochures, I and mean, that's that's how that's what yeah. we do. Other than that, we just uh, I did door door testing, uh, so that leads a lot to uh, the. You're really promoting the blower door, you know, doing the test, and you do the test. Yeah. We had we had the impression because before the rebate you had to do a blower door or a duct blast. Yeah. We had the impression that people were more impressed. With that, the that they guys would tell them, look, Phil, this is all the air coming out of your gut. Where you're going. And it was like more believable. Because that's what we told them. Over there, Phil, here's what's coming. Yeah. The food are pretty good velocity, so it feels like more than it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Well, it's more of a believable. I think it's more of a believable sense that they can yeah, because you can do anything with the computer. They can actually physically feel it. When we got progress in there, we did three or four demos for them years ago to get a car. Like to get there where they pay half of the first $300 for next demo. Yeah. The last demo we did for them, they brought their own good glasses. <laughs> yeah. We, we plugged it, said this is how much we need. They checked it, agreed. Yeah. And did it match? That's great. But the whole trick here is to get to get the customer to the point where they're going to invite you in to be able to do the testing. Right? Does anybody give, give free testing? Yes. Yes. Free testing. 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 Yes.
I missed that. Who's, who's doing the free testing? For, you're doing the free testing. Doug was doing it, but he found that they were just kind of, it was a throwaway, right? You were telling me. He said that exactly. <laughs> no skin in the game. Uh huh. Now, do you rebate it back to them if they make an investment or stuff? Or is it just yeah, if they go to the seal, they'll take that and charge it. Yeah, it's $200 to the seal. <laughs> what did you say? It's how much? <laughs> oh. <laughs> how about you, Rick? Do you do, you do any of that pre test? Agreed. No, not at this point. I just think that we're spinning the wheels. Yeah. Well, yeah, we just sold a. Three jobs this week that the guy tested in uh, January to December. Oh, yeah, we did that. We did that back a year later. And, and just sold three jobs this week. And, and, this, and the guy I have doing it is not really a good salesman. He's a mechanic. He's just plain Jane. And because really, it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of proof of pudding. You test it, you show the leads. Yeah. And then you just present the price. I think price. the problem is nothing really, they just need to catch, there's no really significant or anything to give them. So like, remember, how much it was leaking or any of that kind of stuff, there's nothing. Okay. There's a sizzle in the output of the document. Two documents, one to pre-test. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But we do the test. So if there was a... Show how much it's leaking, and it's not sealed. So if there was a way to kind of print out a pre-sealed certificate and just leave it with that, that would be That would help. Look at it different. You decide to sell your house, you're obligated to use the closest fire. That's true. That's true. There you go. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that help us as well? As far as the... I'm going to adjust that. Coming back, hey, this is a pre-test that wasn't a seal issue that we've been having. So That's a great suggestion. Do you guys think of using the arrow seal machine to, to do the pre-test? They have, but they have a drop pipe, too. Well, I'll tell you what, I just thought about this. If you use the arrow seal machine to do the pre-test, I'm a dollar figure. Yeah, charge. Say charge two thousand dollars for the So listen, I got the same hotel. I'm saving five hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, we we give them a ten percent. If they do it right there, they give them a discount. You know, another these other guys that call back for full price. Yeah. They're discounting it. Yeah. Like twenty twenty five percent off your normal. I do I do that if they buy sixteen percent. What, what one, one of the things we do is we, we have we have a, uh, I don't know about you guys I have a uh, I have like a it's two guys that do duct cleaning like yeah. every day okay we added a duct cleaning machine to the box up with the air seal machine and we send those guys out on duct cleaning and they convert about sixty percent of those customers to air seal on the spot on the spot okay because bravo what they find is they go through the reasons why you have so much dust in your house. And it's either bad filtration or infiltration. Exactly. So they've learned it's either bad filtration or infiltration. And a lot of times it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, they already got the two inches. Especially if uh, I've got the same customer calling back four years later. Mm -hmm. So if you, have, if you have a robust duct cleaning department, mm -hmm. you, you, that is a great entry into the area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And plus it keeps those guys busy. Oh, I mean, I mean so we the credibility goes through there. What are some things we could do at either the national level or the state level, do you think, to kind of get the awareness with the average consumer in Florida up a little bit? Are you guys spending any money on advertising? That's, that's, that's a spend. Yeah. 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 They had such great press they were in every magazine, they were in every newspaper. Yeah. You would go out and customers would tell you, I want, I read about the Coco Skull. At least we didn't have a Coco Skull. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't think you could ever duplicate what they did or what they had. A couple of things they hired. Yeah. But they just had tons of press releases everywhere. And yeah, we're not a barber shop here. I mean, we, we track that. I mean, we actually do spend quite a bit of money. I think we got 7% sales, 10% sales on advertising. There was, between 